Let's talk about why I like to drink vegetable juice just about every single day. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Kola. I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 30 years. I've helped thousands of people lose weight and just get into amazing shape, okay? Now, this particular brand of celery juice is called Evolution. And why I like this brand so much is that it's pretty much 100% celery juice has a little bit of lemon juice so i would say it's about 90 percent celery juice now this bottle which is almost 16 ounces only has 35 calories in it and only has six grams of carbohydrates see i eat in a way where i eat a very low carbohydrate type diet i generally keep my carbs anywhere between 50 to 100 grams a day in my opinion eating a low carbohydrate diet coupled with intermittent fasting, like for example, I fast most days for 16 to 18 hours, is the best way to control insulin, to keep insulin levels low, which will increase your insulin sensitivity and improve your health. Plus, it's a great way to keep your body fat low. But the fact that I'm fasting so often, and I typically only eat two meals a day, I wanna make sure I'm getting enough vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. So for example, this 16 ounce bottle of celery juice has about a thousand milligrams of potassium for only 35 calories, which is really incre incredible. So your adequate in intake for potassium was over 4,000 milligrams. So if you're not eating tons of like vegetables and fruits, things like that, you're probably not getting enough potassium. That's why I like to do a green vegetable type drink every single day, but you have to be careful. You can definitely mess up. Just make sure whatever brain you're going with or you're making it yourself, do not put any fruit juice in it. See, I really limit fruit juice. The reason is, see, fruit juice is somewhat high in fructose. Now, fructose, in my opinion, is probably the worst sugar you can possibly consume, and this is why. See, fructose is processed in the liver. So any excess fructose that you're not burning right then from actually drinking it gets stored away in the form of glycogen. And your liver can only hold so much fructose and not really that much, anywhere between two to 400 calories. So if you're eating like processed food or you're eating like high fructose corn syrup, and then you're drinking like fruit juices, you're gonna fill up your liver with fructose awful quick. And then any excess carbs you're eating, any excess fructose you're eating, you're gonna be converted to triglycerides, you're gonna wind up with a lot of problems, fatty liver disease and, and metabolic type syndrome. So you really wanna, keep a handle on how much fructose you're consuming. I mean, you can eat some fruit. I think fruit's okay, as long as you're not having processed foods along with it. So make sure you pick a green drink that's just 100% or like 95% vegetable juice. A little lemon juice or a little like lime juice, I think is totally okay, but really stay away from the fruit juices. And another boost to what I like to do whenever I have a green type drink, I like to take a tablespoon or two of apple cider vinegar. See, apple cider vinegar has acidic acid in it. See, I mean, what acidic acid does, it helps control blood sugar. So for example, if I take a tablespoon or two of this apple cider vinegar and put it in my green drink, it's gonna even minimize to a further extent the spike in blood sugar. Right? So it's gonna help keep insulin levels under control. I actually do this all the time. Every time I eat a meal, I typically will have either maybe a glass of Pellegrino mineral water with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, or maybe even a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. See, there's nothing all that special about the apple cider vinegar. It's really vinegar in general. So you can do balsamic vinegar. Now, Dr. Stephen Gundry, you know, who wrote the book, The Plant Paradox, which is a great book, I really recommend it. That's how he kicked the soda habit. He took like seltzer, Pellegrino type water and would take a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, maybe with a celery stalk and he would drink that all the time. I tried it, it actually tastes great, I really like it. So see if you can do it, start incorporating these type of, of foods or practices in your diet. You now try to drink a green drink most days during the week and start experimenting with apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar. I think it can help you control your weight definitely help you control blood sugar and increase your insulin sensitivity. And in my opinion, that's one of the keys to good health. Another book I just finished reading was uh, back up, Ben Beckman, I think he's a PhD, he's not an MD, you know, he's a professor. 
and he wrote this book, um, Why We Get Sick. Just came out, I just finished listening to the audio version. And if you listen or read this book, you're really gonna wanna control your insulin. You know, high insulin levels is linked to so many different metabolic type diseases and anything from high blood pressure to heart disease, to maybe even a link to Alzheimer's disease. There's so many problems you can run into if you're eating multiple meals a day, if you're eating a high carbohydrate diet, if you're constantly in a hyperinsulin type state of insulin is constantly elevated, first of all, you're not gonna burn fat and you're gonna wind up having trouble down the road, okay?